Greetings, my friends. Hope everyone is doing a-okay. Um, here is my entry for this month's competition. And I gotta say, I learned something new through this, uh, this month's uh, theme, which is that, that expression, hey, there's a fruit who really knows where his towel is, which uh, I guess means you got everything in order. All your chips are in order, uh, so to speak, which um, for me is very far from the truth. Uh, my chips are not in order. I don't know where my towel is, but thankfully um, this deck of playing cards has kept me sane throughout this whole entire time. Um, so I'm going to take this deck of cards and use it as a metaphor for, uh, for life. And as long as I got my deck of cards somewhere near me, I feel pretty good. Um, so life gets messy. So that's what we do with a deck of cards. Usually before we perform, we like to give it a a few shuffles, either fair or false, um, so we'll mix them up a little bit, the old-fashioned overhand way, um, which is just running cards, you know. Um, you can do it many different ways. Uh, then you get those, those big-time ballers who do stuff on the table, especially in like casinos and stuff, where they, they give them a mix and then a couple of uh, cuts as well. Um, Yep, and they even do some running cuts. Um, and when that happens, oh yeah, always gotta remember to take out one card in particular, the Joker, forgot to do that. Um, so we'll just leave the Joker here. And to me, the best shuffle is not one that I do. Um, it's the one that I would let a spectator do before a trick. So I would give the cards to a spectator and they most of my friends can shuffle a card, uh, shuffle cards, and they do it the, uh, the, the, the old school um, bridge way, the waterfall flourish. Um, so the deck has been shuffled, um, and I give you a choice of red or black cards. We'll remove one of those colors. Let's say they say uh, uh, red. All right, so we'll remove the red cards and do something with the black ones. Well, the black cards have two suits clubs and spades. So I'm going to place the uh, clubs face down over here and the spades I'll put over here. Um, now this deck has been very thoroughly shuffled by myself and also a spectator. Um, and that's kind of like having a life where you don't know where your towel is. Things get really messy. But what's cool though is that your life is unique. There's only one life for you, and your experiences are your own, just like this shuffled deck. Um, it could only be shuffled into this exact order, probably once for the rest of the universe, because the actual mathematical number, finite possibilities of shuffling a deck of cards, is um, apparently 52 factorial, which is 52 times 51 times 50. We'll keep the red cards over here. Times 49 times 48 times 47, all the way down to one. And I guess that number is so large, it's uh, bigger than our entire universe. Um, it's a really massive number. So the fact that you shuffled this card uh, in this particular order um, probably only happens once <laughs> in many, many, many generations. Um, so we can have a, a little pe a little gander. Uh, sorry for the camera angle, but you're just gonna have to trust me. Um, that here on the face, I have a jack over here, the spades over here is a three. Second from the face is a five. Um, second over here is a uh, six, six. Um, my third card is an ace, um, whereas over here, uh, the ace is one, two, three, four, five cards down. There's the ace and the fifth card. And then my back card over here is, um, a queen. Um, you can see the queen at the bottom, whereas the back card over here is a two. Um, sorry, you can't see that at all, but it's a two on the back. So 
they're different orientations, different orders of the cards. Um, and as I said earlier, a deck of cards is a nice microcosm of life, and there's a lot of similarities, actually. One is the randomness and the uniqueness to uh, you part uh, individually. Um, same with the deck of cards, very random and unique order of cards. Um, and also in life, um, throughout all this randomness, there's still some sense of uh, continuity. For instance, in life, there are uh, four seasons, and in a deck of cards, there are four suits, clubs, hearts, spades, and diamonds. Um, and also in life, in, a, in one year, there are 13 lunar cycles, revolutions of the moon around uh, planet Earth. There's 13. And in a deck of cards, for each suit, there are 13 values, ace through king. Um, so 13 cards, and here I have the clubs, that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, uh, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 cards, um, for, yeah, you know, uh, ace through king, and also in a deck of cards, each suit has three court cards, multiply that by four for the four suits, you get 12, and we all know there are 12 months in a year. Um, it's pretty fascinating. And not only that, if you take a deck of cards, and if you take the three, and you add it to the six and to the nine, and you do that um, with all of the values going all the way up to my uh, two over here, right there, um, you take that number, and you add it with the clubs, and you add it with the hearts and the diamonds over here, you add it all together, and you get 364. Um, which is almost uh, a full year. And that's where a joker comes in. You add one card for the joker and uh, get 365. Um, that's pretty amazing. Um, and to further kind of confound your brain, uh, do you know how many ways there are to organize, uh, to orient, uh, to shuffle uh, any given suit, 13 cards? Well, just like a deck of cards, it would be 13 factorial, so 13 times 12. Um, so we got these 13 cards. Uh, uh, yeah, time, 13 times 12 times 11 times 10. And that number, believe it or not, is uh, over 6 billion. So there's 6 billion. Uh, I googled this. It's pretty insane. Um, there's 6 billion ways that you could sh arrange a suit of cards. Um, I hope I'm not mistaken because that would be embarrassing, uh, but again, just trusting Google. Um, but anyways, I said in the beginning that I might not always know where my towel is and my life is kind of rough and it's not as smooth as it once was, but um, that's why I found the beauty of magic um, to really, really come in handy just right at the moment that I needed it. That's true, <laughs> it's very true. Um, so while I may not know where my towel is, at least I got my deck of cards. And, uh, yeah, a deck of cards without the magical gesture, uh, the magical formula, which is unique to each person, um, you know, it's really not much if you don't have all of it together. Um, so I like to do uh, kind of just a, a combination move of, of a wave and a snap and... Uh, I hope that that helps me at least get some inkling of where my towel is because that that very random unique deck of cards um, if you just hold out your hand so that would do somehow all comes full circle and we have an ace uh, we got a two the three that's a four the five uh, that's a six seven eight yeah and then there's a nine ten jack queen king ace through king perfect order and if that worked with the spades well i'm thinking there's a yeah there's the ace of clubs two three four five six seven eight nine ten jack queen king and they're perfect order Joker over here. 
I uh, hope you can see it. But there's an ace of diamonds, two of diamonds, three of diamonds, four of diamonds, five of diamonds, six of diamonds, seven, eight, nine, ten, jack, queen, oh, sorry, <laughs> queen, king, and last but not least, the hearts are also all in order. Um, yeah, so order out of chaos, but, you know, I just like to think of it as a continuity in an otherwise random affair. Um, so thank you guys for watching. I know it's a longer one, kind of long-winded, um, but I appreciate your time. Uh, stay busy practicing. <laughs> Peace.